Welcome back to the Hang Gliding Files. Well, today I'm introducing a new uh, set of instructional videos we're calling the Hang Gliding File Instructional Video Series. And what I'm going to do is make a series of instructional videos about how to fly hang gliders in a simulator. And for some of you, this is just going to be preaching to the choir. But for many of you, this information is going to be new. I have many other videos in my YouTube channel with this information in them, but they are in a much longer format and not everyone does or even wants to watch my entire videos. And so that's cool, but they also don't get the information that they need. I hope these more bite-sized videos will help it to be easier to find the information that you need and to understand how all of this all really works together and with that I hope it will encourage more pilots to try this unique form of aviation. Most general aviation pilots out there will think that they can just get a hang glider and fly it and they would be wrong. Now sure they can probably get it into the air and fly it around and get it back on the ground but honestly, it would be boring and it would seem pointless to them because they don't really hang glide, they just operated the vehicle. Most sailplane pilots will actually do much better because of their very large overlap in skills and knowledge that they are required to know in order to soar. But they too will end up feeling dissatisfied with the lower uh, L over D and the performance and the inability to scream along at VNE for a few hundred kilometers without turning. That's not hang gliding either. Well, then there's that small group of existing or older hang glider pilots and paraglider pilots who know what to do and what they expect out of hang gliding, but they don't have a clue as to how to do it in a simulator. And then you have the infinitely larger group of people who've never flown anything, but they still fly in the simulator because it's fun and it's something that they can do. And to get them into uh, flying a hang glider is going to require that we um, give them a, a lot of information that allows them to understand what it is that we're trying to do and why we do what we do. To make my goal work, the goal of doing all of this to make hang gliding in the simulator work, is to have people discover hang gliding, real hang gliding, using a flight simulator and that requires that I bring everybody along with me. To do that we must all be on the same page of understanding of what it actually is and how we can make that happen in the simulator and that's what this series is all about. I've also broken this information down into much smaller parts because uh, some people assume that you have to do everything that I'm going to talk about today, but you don't. You can stop at any time after you've installed a hang glider. It's up to you how deep into hang gliding you want to get, so don't let that um, be a barrier to trying to do hang gliding. The first video in our series is going to be about how to install the software. And you need additional software more than just the simulator to fly hang gliders. And the main piece of software that you download and install is going to be a thing called the widget. And then we'll have a video specifically on just how to use and understand the widget. Then we're going to have a video about just setting up your controllers. And these are the devices that you use to control aircraft in your simulator. 
This video will also show you how to set up your views, whether you use uh, VR systems or a head tracker, or you just use your hat switch or your mouse to change your point of view. The next video is about how to actually set up the controls, the basic controls of a hang glider. What are the basic controls of a hang glider and why do I need to know what they do? Then we'll have a video that covers just the basic hang gliding flying skills. We'll teach you some really basic skills of moving the, high, the hang glider around on the ground in a simulated world and how to launch, land, and yes, even soar. Well, then we need to teach you about instrumentation, and that's going to be the variometer. And there's only one instrument on the hang glider, but it does all of the functions that you normally find in a regular aircraft. And so we'll go over how to use it and um, how to control it. Then we're gonna teach you about flying cross country. And what cross country flying is, is not just flying from the top of the mountain down to the bottom of the mountain, but to fly a long distance or through a course or um, over a pattern so that you can uh, have fun, more fun when you're flying. And now we're starting to get into what uh, hang gliding is really all about. And the tool that we use to help you fly cross country even better is a thing called a flight computer. The flight computer is uh, built into the variometer, but it's a separate kind of a function and we'll go over that in its own video. And so to really use the flight computer, you need to be able to build tasks. And these are turn points and launches and landings and, and basically um, a map of what it is that you want to try and fly during a day. And it's a goal, it's a, a series of turn points that you can set up and it makes flying really, really interesting, but there is a lot to know about how to set it, them up. Then we'll create a video to teach you how to understand weather and wind, basically micrometeorology. We will teach you how to use this micrometeorology and understand how that affects your flying experience. Nobody cares about this really in simulated flying. You won't find this in any other um, realm of flying, but it is one of the most important things in hang gliders and so, and it exists within the Microsoft Flight Simulator and it is very important to understand. We will then create a video about how to fly with other people. We'll show you how to set up the simulators so that you can fly with your friends or family and not have it be a, some nightmare of complexity. Flying with others is very fun not that hard to set up, but you do need to have somebody show you. Then the next video is the big one, and that's flying in real time with real weather. We'll show you how the real challenge, the real adventure, the truest test is flying in real time using real weather conditions. And if you really want to experience hang gliding and understand what it means to go out and go hang gliding, you need to do this. And our last video of this series is going to show you how to make custom scenery and build new sites. You don't need to know how to do this, but it if you want to make your own custom sites, we'll show you how to make your own flying sites and share those sites with your friends. And we'll also show you how easy it is and how to build custom scenery for each site. So you can put cars and trees or change anything you want on any site and build it as your own.
Well, that's the, that's the series, and I hope you're looking forward to seeing some of those videos. You don't have to watch them all, but I'm sure for everybody there is some video that has some information that they will find interesting or will fill in some informational gaps that they might have. So in conclusion, uh, the scenes you have seen in this video have come from us capturing our own test flying during this last development cycle. Not all the gliders and or animations you see necessarily reflect the final product. We're just a small team of two people trying to make this all happen. We are doing our best to produce the highest quality products, but they do have issues and we do have our, we do our best to solve them. We have had a pretty steep learning curve of new technologies and skill to acquire as we make this progress. With this in mind, we follow the now standard model in programming of move fast and break things. If you wait until things are perfect, then we would be the only ones who are flying hang gliders. So we invite you to become part of the process of this journey by simply participating and understanding that what is happening here is basically impossible. But we're not done. We have a huge number of things left to build, and for some of that, we also need to learn even more how to build them. So stick with us and see what comes next. Let's fly hang gliders. See you on the hill.